I was recently asked if we could use a loop in order to write content to a file. Now, we've seen examples where you can read content from a file using a loop, but not writing. So let's look at two different instances where we can use a loop in order to write content to a file. Now, I've already opened up a file and I have an array here of 25 elements that I initialize with just a random value. So to write this content to a file, I would do something like the following. If I want to write out an array, I'm going to simply use a for loop like this. And this is something we've seen before, and I'm going to specify out array at variable i, and then a new line character for each element. If I save this file and run it, your notice is going to print out my random values here, just as I'd expect. And then I have to go open my file. Now I can come down here to my numbers.txt file. When I open it up, you'll notice all those random numbers now are showing inside my file, just as you would expect. So that's one way to use a loop, simply to go through an existing set of data and print them out one at a time. Now, obviously, if you have a class with a array of objects or a linked list of objects or something like that, you're going to use a different method, but this is the same basic way that you can use this. Now, let's look at a different example where we're going to take an input from a user and we're going to keep on taking input from that user, writing it to a file until some specific value is set. and take out our for loop real quick. I don't need to initialize my array, so I comment that out, and I'm gonna create a temp integer. And for right now, I'm just gonna say temp equals zero. Say while temp is greater than or equal to zero. See out Please enter a number, negative one to exit. CN temp. And then I'm gonna specify if temp is greater than or equal to zero, I'm gonna write this value to my file, along with a new line character, just as I did when I used my for loop to go through my array. I'm going to save this, run it, type 12, it gives me a number, it asks me to enter another number, 13, 5, 8, 9, negative one, and I exit. If I come here to my file folder again, open up numbers, you'll notice here are my files. So what I did is I used a while loop, and as long as my while loop wasn't a certain value, I was gonna keep on going through. This is sometimes known as a sentinel value, and I'm gonna keep testing against that value as long as I meet my condition, I am going to keep going through it. So this way, a user can keep typing in values and until they hit the letter X or they type in zero or negative one or anything else like that. So we use a loop to constantly go through and get information and then write it out to our file. And so that's two different ways that we can use loops to write to a file in C++.